Way number one is super simple. You press right click on your uh, Steam button, or you can do it. Uh, I don't have it on my desk desk desktop because I have it there. Right click, you press settings, uh, and then it should this come up. First, it's on your account, but then you go to in-game, and then it will say uh, the Steam overlay. Steam can remain active while uh, while in game, enabling access to Steam community community features well well while playing. Sorry for my stuttering, my voice. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so uh, this can cause FPS drop because the market is always getting updated, like almost every second. So that may that uh, so that way maybe make you lag. So how to turn off that? You just press uh, uh, there. Then uh, un then uh, uh, Steam overlay while in game is uh, enabled. So that's one way. I don't know if if it is going to be working for you, but uh, yeah, you'll see. So step two is pretty easy. You go to uh, my computer is on Swedish, so I can try to translate it into English. So you go here. I don't have my battery thing. In the corner here, so I press here, battery, right click, no sorry, <laughs> left click, left click, uh, more energy, I don't know, it's like you press more energy, uh, uh, I don't know, you press that one, and I have uh, balanced, uh, recommended, you press uh, change, then uh, advanced options, then you go down uh, to uh, energy functions uh, for your process. It's uh, under the PCI Express. Press there. Then you take the maximal uh, processor uh, thing. Press there. And then you see the battery. Uh, I don't know how to translate, but uh, we call it battery. Yeah, you see that one, both of them is on 100%, and then you press this one. This will, uh, like, because when your computer overheat, you will get stuttering. So you can take this one to, like, <coughs> 99, oh, not 199, 99, and uh, that's one way. Then you're good to go. Yeah, and then you just press uh, apply, and then okay. Uh, so the third way is pretty easy. You just uh, right click on Counter Strike Global Offensive Properties, Set Launch Options, and then you see Process Sheep. I'll leave uh, I'll leave this in the comment. But this make your like your FPS uh, so it doesn't drop. And uh, yeah, you just add that to your Set Launch Options. But if it doesn't work for you, then just delete it because it doesn't really do anything then. Yeah, but that's uh, that's the third way. Uh, so the fourth way, uh, you go to your Steam folder, you press user data, you press your number. Uh, this is your uh, like trade off or your profile number, or like you can find that also here. You go to your inventory. Uh, uh, I press wrong inventory. Who trade offers? Then uh, who can send me trade offers? And then you see these numbers here. Oh wait, those numbers here. One, uh, eight, yeah, you see them. Those uh, those numbers should be the same number as the numbers here, and they are. So just press this, <clears throat> and then you delete. <coughs> uh, this 730 because this will uh, reset all your uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive options. And uh, remember, you need like your sensitive and everything is going to get deleted, not your items. It will just take longer time for your Counter Strike to start just once. And uh, you press here and then just delete. It uh, nothing will be deleted from your account except your options. So you may screenshot them and. Uh, use the same options uh, that's was that was the fourth way uh, 
so the last and the fifth way is pretty easy. You just go to your console. You write uh, max no fps underscore max max zero. This will allow your allow your fps. So uh, this will allow your allow your fps to like go up more. Uh, it will like allow allow your FPS to go up to over 300 depends on your graphic card your processor and what computer you have but if you have a good gaming computer this will allow allow uh, it so it will make your your FPS go up more and that was uh, all the five ways you can uh, go through them again if you want but I hope this helped you and I'm 29